welcome back guys um so yeah look i'm already back already like you know i'm on track you know it's funny i was gonna say a story time but i'm like you know what like like i haven't really processed like how i should talk about the story time and i haven't really remembered certain things about the story i was about to say so without further ado let's talk about some anticipated albums on my list not on yours my list yes i know i feel like i'm being a little sassy today hmm. the number one person in my anticipated list uh of new albums uh is katie perry reason why i say katie perry is because and like i would have said Nicki minaj first but it's because i've been hearing so much verses katie's number one just because you know, I've been waiting for a new album since 2013. This should be the year that she's going to release an album. I heard this is the year. And how long have I been a fan of Katie? I've been a fan of Katie since 2010, actually 2009. I became a big, big fan of her um, from the Part of Me movie because I, I got to see a more, I got to see more of Katie and her personality in the movie and that made me become a fan of her even more i really still love prism i listen to literally her songs every fucking day from that album especially roar which is a song that has really helped me emotionally number two is Nicki minaj just because i do like katie and Nicki like the same level like if you literally saw my uh twitter border it's literally katie and nikki like that's it waiting for a good like probably a year after katie that i've been still waiting for i've been waiting an album for an album from nikki um she's been dropping lots of lots of hints that she's gonna be releasing an album this year and i just really can't wait you know um I hope she really does a song with Katy Perry because I've been saying that since 2013 and I was actually praying before Katy released Prism, I was actually praying that Nicki would be on the album and Nicki was not and I was kind of upset and then the next year I was like praying that okay please Katy be on the album but technically, technically uh, Katy was on the pink print because she did wrote Get On Your Knees and she was supposed to be uh, the one singing it but uh, ended up being Ariana which I have no problems with the number three on my list is this three? number three number three on my list would be Pia Mia um, if you know me in person you would know that I love Pia Mia like oh my freaking gosh I listen to Pia Mia almost every day and do it again um, touch what's the other song? There's an unreleased song called Underneath that I love, Fuck With You, that's a, that's a really good song. There's other songs too, I just can't remember off the top of my head right now because I'm filming. But yeah, those are the main songs I listen to, especially Do It Again. I, for, I will never ever hate that song, like I love that song. I um, also love her new song. I have to shout this out. I do love her new song. We should be together Like I think that's a very I think she f like she has a song now that fits her voice I'm not saying the previous song haven't but she finally has a song that I feel like she's That really really fits her voice and I really like how she did that if they all do songs together I'm actually gonna fucking cry like oh my freaking gosh the number four purse fourth person is actually someone that everyone that knows me is gonna like drop they're gonna like drop their mouth to the ground and the number fourth person i'm gonna say is iggy azalea i'm saying iggy azalea because i actually used to be a big fan of her way before she released the new classic and i guess when she released the new classic and she was getting into fights with everyone and controversies and shit like that that i was like mm, you know what i am feeling you right now but she changed herself she released team which i really love and i i think she's gonna release a really good album because there's been leaks of songs and they sound so good like i cannot wait till her album comes out so um that's what katie nikki pia mia and now iggy azalea um yeah like i personally think that her album's gonna do really good 
Um, if it doesn't, I'm still gonna like it because of the songs I've, the leaked songs I've heard, they sound really fucking good. I'm not sure when it'll come out. Hopefully it's coming out around March. That's when, um, Digital Distortion was supposed to originally come out in 2016. So I'm hoping she probably does that this year or earlier because it would be nice. <laughs> and the number fifth, the final person, because there are more, but I want to make this short. The fifth person is Fergie. And just because I've loved for she's another one like Iggy that I've loved their music uh, way back then or not way not like Iggy but you get what I'm saying like I loved Fergie from way back then so probably 05 or 2003 probably but yeah I've listened to Fergie since I, I've been listening to Fergie since growing up and now she's continuing to release new music and I'm just like oh my gosh like I cannot friggin wait I hear she has a song with Nicki Minaj and I'm praying oh my gosh please release this soon please Ugh. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait. I really fucking can't wait. When I heard she was going to do a song with Nicki, I'm like, this song is going to sound bomb. Because what most people don't really understand with Fergie is that she actually raps. Like, some of you people just listen to her music and you think she's just singing really fast. No, she raps. She actually has bars. Listen to Fergalicious. She has bars. Like, and she's a really good singer too. You know, that's one thing with Fergie is just I don't understand why people don't see her as a rapper. I see her as a rapper. But, so those are my five top anticipated albums expected to come out this year. Um, I'm praying and hoping they come out soon. Like, before the summer. Like, let me, let me listen to y'all on the beach at least, okay? Like, please, all you guys, all you artists that I've mentioned, release your friggin' album before July. I'm giving you to July. I should have gave your asses to June, but you know what? I'm giving your asses till July to release all five of you. So, I don't know, you know, if you're just laying back right now eating chips watching my video, but this should be a sign for you to get up, we'll go back in the studio, edit, edit, and you know, I'm kidding. I am kidding, but please, just actually please, just release your albums before July, please and thank you, please. I really can't wait for them to release uh, their albums, but uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment down below, comment down below your anticipated albums in your list, and we can have a big discussion. Because trust me, I'm always commenting stuff like that. Not that I have any, not that I have much people commenting anyway, but I'm gonna respond to everyone, and. Um, yeah, so let's have a big discussion down below. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please make sure and subscribe, please. like, Because I actually have juicy story times. Juicy story times to tell you guys. Oh my freaking gosh. So please make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.